So what we're doing today is we're gonna take this entire dash piece off and the cluster and the side because word on the street is, is that there's a hidden harness behind this clock that the SS model got that you can actually replace with an OEM tachometer. All right, we got past that. It does look like the fans just come off. Everything's in one piece. This is so easy. We're gonna have to take the cluster off and just put it to the side and we'll get over to that side. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, you know what? I can't name one other car legitimately where you swap out a clock, OEM clock for an OEM tack. Name one, I can't think of it. So it looks like we have a harness back here, but the question is, that's the same amount of pins as the one for the tack. So it looks like we have a 10 pin harness and I'm seeing about five or six of them actually coated in copper contacts because of that. So I'm wondering is what we're gonna do is dig a little bit deeper here See if we have a secret harness down there. We're gonna bring in a tack because it'll only be maybe 20 bucks to bring one in. So for 2,000 yen, it looks like that is the exact same harness. And I'm seeing red, I'm seeing ground, I'm seeing yellow and white. And this one, I'm seeing red, ground, yellow, white, tan, exactly the same colors in the exact same orientation with the same harness layout and plug type as the one on Yahoo Auctions. So you know what? I think we're gonna bring one in and we're gonna throw a tack in there. All right, my buddy at Suzuki actually sent me the official relearn procedure. So first things first, we gotta unplug the battery for three minutes and then plug it back in. All right, we're at 1217. Let's wait three full minutes and pop it back in. Turn the car on for three seconds. Turn it off for three seconds. Turn it on for three seconds. Turn it off for three seconds. Here we go. All right, that's the whole kit and caboodle, I guess. Let's just turn it on normally and see if it stays at a decent idle. Again, no tack until we get one, but we'll see how this goes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh! Oh, we're really low now. Done. Done like Donkey Kong. Oh no, it's still high. I, it almost had it. Couple more tries. See, right there. That one. Almost had it. Next on the docket, taking off the OEM Lapon Chocolat rims and putting aftermarkets because we can't pass inspection without proper stamps. So just around the corner here, we have a full set of Made in Japan Echo Forms, and we're gonna throw these on. All right, we're done for now. Wheels are off. We inspected something when we took the wheels off. You can see with the sun shining on it, those brakes are brown and purple with rust. That's not safe. You cannot skimp on safety. We are going to do brakes. We have to do at least rotors. Pads are really thick. We're good on that. Drums are fine. We checked, but the front rotors are toast. They don't have a lip or anything. They're flat, but they're grooved and they're rusty. We're gonna swap those out. And we're actually going to take the OEMs and list them on Jimothy, which is the equivalent of Craigslist in Japan, even though they have Craigslist, Jimothy is more kind of domestic. So we just received our tack, and if you want to check, 
that is the clock that came with the unit and that is the tachometer and it's got its own little shroud around it too whereas that's just mostly flush yeah i was thinking like before i even try this there's no way an analog clock with no power would need six wires <laughs> this has to be for the tack and all of the data it requires to transmit because it's the same as that one so let's check it out So there we have it right there next to the Speedo. I'm gonna turn on the car and we're gonna rev it, see what happens. And this is the one that came with the actual thing. I uh, guess I don't, don't really need it anymore. So yeah, let's get our LePond keys and start her up. Oh my God, yes! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, come on! Eh? Who's that? Oh, no one's here. Oh, that guy's here. You get it, right? That guy, see him? There he is. He, 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 uh, that's the guy. He gets it. Look at that! Oh, yeah! Now we're rocking and rolling. You got a freaking tachometer, man. That was the best $20 ever. Forget this clock. Who needs a damn clock? The clock's everywhere. There's freaking time right there. I mean, it was a good idea to have it, but yeah. Uh, it's still idling high because we're working on the uh, vacuum lines and everything, but no, we're, uh, yeah. Yeah, son. All right. That's like the greatest thing ever. All right, on to the next. <laughs> 